Hello, good morning, and welcome to another episode of White Details. Right, hello, good morning, welcome back. Monday morning to White Details. Basalt Black Porsche Taycan 4S. Sit for a new car prep. Modesta's BCO4 paint protection, BCO6 for the rims, levers, interior, fabric, etc. Uh, as much as I instruct or advise customers at the order process of buying these new cars to allow the dealership not to touch the car, don't wash it, don't prep it, don't polish it, don't do anything, don't touch it. Just do the paperwork, uh, and if you have to, peel the stickers, the transfers off down the side, the protective film. But other than that, that first wash can be quite important. Unfortunately for this car, however, the owner has, has advised me that uh, yes, they have washed it, but it's okay, because we've used a, a pH neutral snow foam, and we've used a new chamois leather in the process. So here's the Porsche, enjoy. And that's not kind of the point. The idea is that you don't touch it. You don't use the chamois leather, full stop. Uh, if it's new or not, I can guarantee it probably wasn't. And they just don't understand it's the contact. It's the bad contact in that vital first part of the car's early life. For the reason being, we get the swirling and marring on the panel. By the way, at the start of this video, there was early footage of defects on the car that was before I even touched it. So you could say, yeah, but Jim even juiced that in the wash that you've done. And so, uh, kind of possibly, but no, it's not. That was done before the car was even touched this end. And the deep scratch that's down here, I was able to locate and point out to the client, the owner of the car, when they were here in person. So it's always worth, if you get a chance, to bring the car inside with the customer, put a light around it and sort of have a quick assessment there and there. So the rest of the car then is, it's just got this across the entire thing, to be honest. This corner of the bumper is bad at the top here. And again, the deep scratch down here. I've done some work already, some test pads and polish. Now, before Modesta's BCO4 paint protection goes down, I need to apply Modesta's primer, which essentially is a single stage polish in itself. Very mild, or well, non-abrasive, isn't really gonna do what I need it to do, so. This is a two-stage polish, a single stage with a finishing pad and a mild polish to clear what it needs to clear across the whole car. And then, and then we go on to primer, which is gonna just glaze essentially the rest of the paint. So it's prepped, it's sharp, it's ready for the application of the coating. Following the take out, uh, this week is a Porsche week. There is a, an Argate Grey 992 Cabriolet, I believe. Another new car prep, so it's gonna be Take on Cabriolet, two Porsches, one episode. And also, at the end of the last episode on the Ford Escort, the RS Turbo, I mentioned about how you could give back, you can sort of say thanks with a coffee, you could buy me a coffee, there's a link below. 
And wow, what a reception, what a response. It's very humbling all night over the Saturday evening into the early hours when America warmed, warmed up, woken up, woke up, was awake. There was a lot of support. So guys, uh, again, thank you so much. Interior. The only chemicals I've used in there thus far has been an upholstery cleaner, just the overmass and the driver's footwell. Fabric protection go down on the materials, on the fabrics, the overmats and carpets, the leather protection which is Modesta's LPS system. I'll probably show you that more on the convertible on the 992 which is to follow in this episode because with the roof down it's actually easier to do the filming on the interior because it can go over the top. Whereas in there, it's all very dark, it's all very black and quite stealth. So the seats just had a wet wipe with that microfiber, and as I say, LPS part one, part two, part one for the entirety, part two, which is the hardier barrier for the higher wear and abrasion areas, and bolsters, bums, sides, armrests, which will leave BCO4 for the paint, and then the curing process, toothpickery various bits and bobs and then tomorrow all I've got to do is the wheel coatings and cure the wheels and a final wipe down and she's done. Simples.
just before we bring the car back down to earth, if you were interested, this is the underside of a Taycan. Extremely flat, aerodynamic. Big ass batteries in there somewhere. Front to back, all the way. Two more jobs for the tank down. I'm going to wipe down the paintwork now with M1 shots. Now everything is cured as well as the wheels. So wipe down the paint and then finish the glass. One, two, three. Quite why I thought the next car in, the 992, was a cabriolet. I don't know. It's a coupe. For some reason I had it in my mind as a cabriolet. And I even priced for the fabric roof protection. That needs looking at. I'll get grey 92 Carrera S. We'll take a look at this in more depth in the morning. Walking around the car with the customer on drop off with the light, I was able to find some more defects similar to the take on. But outside, we have blue skies. So it'd be really nice to get that outside for some photos. And they say it hasn't been washed. Can you see the drying mark here? There's a towel mark there where a smudging towel has washed over the paint. Definitely been washed. Quite where, by who? Don't know. So if you've seen the channel before, you know after the wash, before we go inside, we just dry the discs off two or three times on the brakes, just so that when the vehicle leaves in three days time, four days time, it doesn't bind, it doesn't rust over and look unsightly. But before we go inside, what we do need to do we just need to rinse the lower portions and the wheel arches to get rid of the stuff that just potentially kicked up down the side.
I've done on the polishing for the Carrera, let's take a quick look around the paint. So it's another one that the dealer says that it hasn't been washed, it hasn't been touched, but again, the early footage of this as it first arrived, there are marks, there are swirls, there are abrasions. And on the bonnet, on the top there, I spotted before the car went outside, a good smear, a good drying smudge where someone blatantly has wiped. So it's had something somewhere. And again, back to this area, near side rear corner of the spoiler. I'm hoping, I'm hoping my yellow pad, polishing pad and uh, refiner polish is this combination strong enough to be able to lift that. Before once again we go in with Modesta's primer, BCO4, BCO6, LPS for the leather, EPC for the trim. Fiber cutting pad on one inch now uh, to be able to tackle this area. So, in the earlier footage, there were some boot marks, kick marks, abrasions where feet caught that way through.
quickly. Um, if you've been here a while or you've seen some of the old archived footage, you may remember I had a guy working with me, a chap called Terry. Uh, Terry has reached out recently, he's got a few small projects on the go, one of which is Hikoki Design, a uh, bespoke manufactured and designed automotive, aviation, and marine pieces. It could be a V8 coffee table from a big V8 Chevy, or it could be a lamp from a caliper of some description, the annual boys lamp, or pen holders and business holders, business card holders from a piston and that sort of stuff. Uh, there's a link below where you can go check out Terry's Etsy shop, even if you just want to go and say hi. But also, back uh, three or four years ago, Terry did have some wall-mounted brushed stainless steel wall-mounted polisher holders, which I did have some in at the time. I haven't got one here to show you now, but there's a picture I can flash up. Has been modelled by a good friend, Larry Casilla of Ammo NYC in America. For me, my machine polishers live and sit in the top of that tool chest back there. But if you do want to have your gear on display on the wall of your garage, your workshop, or your studio, perhaps they're of interest, Again, there's a link below down to Terry's website. Otherwise, for me, I've now got about four, two hours of this Kira process to follow. The BCO4 now on the, on the paint safely. Uh, and then I've got the final glass, got to get the wheels on, get the wheels torqued, get the exhaust tips protected, get the tyres dressed, and then the final doings, the final going over to the interior. Here's a question for you. Would you rather 992 Carrera 2S in Argate Grey or the Basalt Black Taycan? Taycan, Taycan, Taycan 4S. Which would you take the keys for if it was going to go in your garage? But the Taycan, Taycan, the technology is just pretty mega. Good morning, what you This vehicle was due in about six or seven weeks ago. Uh, it was booked in the diary at the very start of the third lockdown here in the UK. Because of travel restrictions and difficulties, um, the job never came forward at that time, and it's only been washed once since. It's done 2,000 miles. The owner not wanting to wash the car too much for fear of inducing damage, but at the same time in allowing the car to become heavily ingrained and properly dirty, this is perhaps just as bad actually. If you allow the dirt and the grime to sit for periods of time, it's gonna have a chance to bond and to bite, especially the wheels with the state of these. These will take some work to get cleaned up. I know it's a new car, but 2,000 miles of not being washed, it's gonna take its toll. So although I know the owner didn't want to risk putting marks in the paint before the protection goes down, until the protection is down, uh, but at the same time going forward, just be mindful to everybody else, that if you are gonna leave your car for periods of time like this, that's probably doing more damage than it would be if you'd had a chance of washing it and putting in the light wash marring. And once the car's complete, of course, going forward, it doesn't want to be, it wants to be correctly maintained to really get the most out of the coatings. And often some people think that, great, the car has a ceramic coating, so it's a, 
it's an invincible barrier now on the surface so they can sort of relax a bit and not to not be too stressing too much about maintaining it and washing it but no very much so it does still need probably more maintenance to keep the coatings fresh to keep them responding and performing as they should be whereas if the car is allowed to get into this condition with the coating in place yes it's still under there but it's become suffocated it's become heavy and saturated with dirt That's it. Two pretty Porsches, perfectly polished and protected in the most precise possible way. Which would you take? The Taycan, Carrera, or the M5? Let me know in the comments below. Both vehicles receiving the full safe wash decontamination, single stage polish. Um, it has to be co 4 bco 6 the rooms and calipers, interior protection, exterior plastic protection. Hope you've enjoyed. I've not done a multi-car episode for a little while. Um, thank you for watching if you made it this far. Remember for daily insights behind the scenes to see more information on vehicles like this. Be sure to find my details over on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you're not already subscribed. Help the channel to grow. Fast approaching 100,000 subscribers. There is, how it's going to work yet, I don't know, but there is a free detail giveaway for one lucky person. When we hit uh, 100,000 subs, and of course, there's always the option to buy a coffee, buy me a coffee or share a coffee with me down in the description below. Take care, all the best. Bye for now. Hi hey guys, so I'm sat here doing the editing or finishing the editing process and I've got some bad news to say that the file containing the video footage of the after shots of the Carrera, the file is corrupt. I can't recover any information from the file. What's caused it, I don't know. It's a first. It's a very important footage because it's all I had of the exterior finished article. I have some interior shots that will follow and then one or two static photographs, but there's no outside photography or videography and I am most upset. Most apologetic uh, to both you guys and of course to the owner. I do however have the owner's reaction which is delightful uh, so stay tuned for that and take care. See you soon. picture of you with your feet up on the stool yes. and I, I so went through it had 850 likes on it. Well, it's up to 13, 1400 now I think or so. 1400 likes yeah. this morning. <laughs> but, but.